Bigger game for Dallas or the Rams this weekend, Tim? Nice segue from Golden Brews and IPAs to Tim <laughs> Kalashaw, but thank you. Thank you for that opportunity, Danny. Um, it is a bigger game, uh, honestly, for the Rams, and that's part of the problem. Uh, the Cowboys would love to, to beat a winning team one time this season. Hasn't happened yet. They're 0-6. But everybody knows, no matter what happens Sunday, they go into Philadelphia and win, and then they got to beat Washington at home, and they win the East. Whereas the Rams are kind of hanging around the edge of the wild card. They could use the Vikings to lose a game or two. So realistically, the, the, the Rams are much closer to elimination for the loss Sunday than the sad little Cowboys. Are they sad little Cowboys? Well, here's what they are. They're, they're a team of empty, empty yards and empty dreams, Dan. Uh, you know, when you look at Dak and Amari and Zeke are the first First in team history to have 4,000-yard passer, 1,000-yard rusher, 1,000-yard receiver. You would have thought you would have thought the triplets might have done it in the 90s. You'd have thought Romo and Dez and DeMarco Murray did it. These guys did it. They got three games left to play, and the team is 6-7. and seven. So what do all these yards mean? They're first in yards. They're ninth in scoring. They go up and down the field, and they do a lot of nothing with it. But also, they're, they lead the NFL in third-down percentage. I would think that'd be Strange. a really big stat for a team. <laughs> All these things seem like they would help, don't they? Yeah. Seems like, it seems like this would add up to more than six and seven. But they just cut a kicker who has missed 10 field goals. And he's the only kicker who has missed 10 field goals in the last four years. And it, if you're a team that lost two games by two points and two games by four points, how much could having a decent, just an average kicker have helped? If you said to the fans, you must miss the playoffs, but you get a new head coach, how do you think Cowboy fans would vote? Uh, yeah, unless you're telling them they're going to the Super Bowl with him. Uh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna take that. And I think that's, I honestly think that's the expectation. Even though people around here, I'm sure, have watched the Eagles and seen that, you know, you and I are playing wide receiver for them now, uh, that there is just no confidence the team's going to do anything, and they are more ready than they've ever been to say goodbye to a head coach. More than Switzer when things were falling apart his last year, more than Campo when they were going 5-11 and 11, three years in a row. There is nothing – even you heard the story about Jason Garrett showing a highlight. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, Tim. Okay. He, did he run out of highlights from this year? So he used – is there is Roger Staubach in this sizzle reel? <laughs> he had to dip back into the archive a bit <laughs> to find all the plays he wanted. But, like, okay, that's just – to me, that's fine. That's just the thing <laughs> a coach does to try to get his team going. But people are killing him for that. There is nothing Jason Garrett can do. But why do you have to get them for. going for facing the Rams on the road? I mean, you're facing the Rams. Like, why do I have he to get my team hyped up for that? Oh, he shouldn't. He shouldn't. But in the last two games, you have saw them completely fall apart. After opening both games against Buffalo and Chicago, 14-play touchdown drive, 17-play touchdown drive. Oh, they're back. Yeah. They gave up at least 24 straight points before they, they scored again. They, they just they fall apart at the first sign of trouble. And they have zero confidence right now. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.